Hey team, welcome to the channel, The Modern Creative, where we help you become a better producer. And today, not only am I gonna show you Yum Audio's brand new plugin, The Grader, but I'm also gonna present to you the presets that I made for it. I hope you're ready, here we go. All right, it's game time. So here we are, we're looking at this new offering by Yum Audio. I've covered them extensively on the channel. They really do bring their A game each and every time. Here we have the grader. The way that I like to talk about this, explain it, is that it's a, a plugin that can bring a lot of punch, but it also allows you to bring energy and audio mangling capabilities to your productions. So a silly example, you guys know the plugin company Heaviosity, they have the Damage series, right? And so if Damage had a baby with Extractor by Yum Audio, I think it would make this evil twin brother. So we're going to go ahead and check out the grader, but just let me kind of let me just give you a sense of what's possible. And again, we're also going to check out the presets. And so because I'm showing you so much love here, go ahead and show it back. Make sure you like, make sure that you subscribe, and definitely make sure you share. This is how we have built this up to uh, just about 5,000 followers here. So I salute you, and I take my hat off figuratively to you. But yeah, let me go ahead and press play, and let me show you what this greater panel does. A lot of saturation, a lot of distortion, a lot of nuance. Here we go. Right. It does what it does well. It decimates, it destroys sounds, and it sounds pleasant. It sounds enjoyable. I love it. I love it. And there's so many little facets here, so stay tuned until the end. So let's talk about the schematics. So the compression in is really what's going to determine how hard you're hitting the grater. The grater determines the amount of compression that's applied. If I start off at 40% here on the default preset. Listen to what the sounds like as I raise up the compression in slider. And if I bypass it, you'll really be surprised. Check this out. I, I can't believe those two things are the same sound, right? It's just insane. So from compression in, you have the capability of breaking up the sound. And so if I raise this up, we have three modes that we can operate in, smooth, neutral, and heavy. Let's take a listen to neutral. Definitely has that feel, right? Damage meets extractor. And if you haven't picked up extractor by Yum Audio, please check it out immediately. If we go to sharpness though, sharpness gives you a different texture. So when the compression happens, is it going to be soft or is it going to be hard? So obviously we have slower uh, release and attack settings here. Okay, and the higher you raise it, the faster the attack and release. Now, a lot of these plugins, they claim to be able to provide this, you know, over the top sound, but they're not detailed. They're not deep, right? This plugin has so many different pockets. For example, if we move over to Rezo Burst, we can pick a frequency, and obviously this is contingent on like the key of your song or whatever it is you're, that you're trying to do, but uh, we can just flip that on and just get a another world entirely checked. Yeah, one of the presets that I created is called Nine Inch Nails. If you got any NIN fans out there, because th this is something that they would have used back in the day when they were doing their thing. Pre-tonality actually affects the way that the grader processes sound. So let's say you want to hear more high end, which is 
unbelievable. And I love how you can complement the rezo burst by reducing perhaps a little bit of the lows here. And there's a lot of gain staging happening here. I haven't even talked about the gain. And then there's a compression out slider. We'll get there. Now you hear how it's a little bit kind of uh, jagged. That's obviously normal with a plugin of this magnitude. So let me go ahead and lift up what's called the muffle parameter here. And this is going to give you a little bit of a roll off on the high end. Good. Slice up is a clipping algorithm as I understand it. So let me go ahead and back off here. If I turn it off, sounds weak, sounds like this. So I'll lift up the clipping module, but I'll bring down the gain here. I don't know if I've ever seen a plugin like this that allows you to to kind of work with gain on this many levels. It's pretty awesome. Perhaps the most surprising of all is re-inject and tightness. Like this is definitely something I've never seen. And, and as I understand it, it does something very interesting. So this parameter here is going to reintroduce dynamics back into the signal. So if we completely destroy something, we can basically still allow it to sound uh, musical. It doesn't have to sound like a bunch of noise. So let's listen to this madness here. That's probably not gonna work in most settings. I mean, a transition might be cool, but just in general, it's not gonna work. So let's go ahead and re-inject it. Now, tightness is gonna work with the attack and release times of the re-inject parameter. So let me just kind of bring that up to 50% and let's bring re-inject up. Let's take a listen. All right, so really take that into account because now I have the best of both worlds. I have a nasty, gritty sound while still having something that sounds musical. So without it, again, let's go back to zero. I love the energy. I love the heat, but it would be nice if I kind of had the best of both. And of course, with re-inject, we get that. Okay, before, I mean, come on, that's impossible. That's really impossible, it's really amazing. And after. We also have master controls, right? Let's see if we can fine tune even further. All right, let me go ahead and back off the grader now. I don't know if I would go that hard. In most instances, let's. And then just a quick side note before I show you all the presets, like I love the fact that you can just do things like back off of one parameter and have it evolve over time. I mean, it's so musical in like the most destructive way possible. So hopefully you're starting to see the lay of the land here. I definitely want to show you some of the presets that I've created. All right, so thus far, I think I have like 30 to 36 different presets and they all have kind of their own vibe, but like I've got some stuff for bass, drums. Here's the Nine Inch Nails preset I was telling you about. And then I have the part two version of that, which is 10 Inch Nails, let's listen to that. So again, you want to take that up a notch. We go to drums, 10 inch nails. So the only thing that I've ever heard make this kind of sound with this kind of quality is analog heat. If you're interested in that, just check out my backlog. I have a couple of videos on that, uh, but this is in software form. So pretty spectacular. Uh, if we go down, you can see that I have 
several variations here. So I've got Anavar drums, Deca drums. Let's listen to that. Here's Deca drums. And alas, here I have Extractor's Evil Twin Brother. And that's definitely going to utilize the breakup parameter here. Again, if you haven't been paying attention, this is be Again, just absolutely impossible. Want to add this on some lo-fi beats real quick. Hold on. All right, let's see what this sounds like. Man, that is nasty, right? Are you feeling that groove watch bypassed? Uh, we're not getting that same level of energy. Listen, even if you're extremely subtle with it, like, you know, back off of the rezo burst, go ahead and re-inject some dynamics back into it. Before. Come on, man. You can't even compare this game. Check it out. So this is what I'm talking about. Really taking a source signal that's already good. Taking it from good to great. Let's listen to one more. All right. Here we go. So let's change the algorithm. Instead of neutral, I'm going to go into the smooth mode. Perhaps maybe this cuts in a way that isn't as sharp. Oh, man, come on. Look, bypass. Man, you can't touch this. This is really unbelievable. Really nice, really nice. Uh, let me go into some of my presets here. So if I go back into the drums, let me go into loco motion. Let's listen to this. I remember I was thinking about a train on this one. Just make sure you gain stage. That's the main thing. You want it to sound obviously aggressive, pumped up, but it also needs to sound presentable as well. So that's drums, loco motion. Let's check out uh, lo-fi topper, use sharpness. Actually, I'll go back to this for that. So let's go to the sharpness parameter right here. Yeah, so because we're increasing the sharpness parameter, the attack and release times are changing. And so it's quite literally pulling all the sound and just kind of stretching it so you can see every single little bit of it. Uh, again, sharpness down at zero. Couple that with the mix slider here. Couple that with the greater panel. Perhaps bring down the compression on the way out. Sounds like this. Before. Come on, man. That is so beautiful. The greater. Go ahead and support these gentlemen. Whatever they're doing underneath the hood, whatever laboratory they're in, we need to show these guys some respect. It's definitely due. Uh, this is what it's all about, building a new community, building a new following. So thank you guys so much for the support here. I definitely need to get out of here. Got a lot of new content coming soon, so subscribe. Be sure to follow my other channel, at that Logic Pro Guy. I'm out of here. Cheers.